Good morning ladies and gentlemen. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app and here you can get the current affairs in quiz format as well as in easy digest format. And this is how you can attempt the quiz. For regular updates, please join our Telegram channel. This is the name of Telegram channel GK Today YouTube and this is the link. The link of GK Today Academy app and the link of this telegram channel is given in the description box. Please check that. Now we have started a new channel and this is Civils Academy. So you can follow it if you find it relevant. Now let's start. The chief minister of which state or union territory has been recently elected unopposed to the state legislative council. So some states in our country have two houses. There are bicameral states. Bicameral means they have state legislative assembly and legislative council. So recently, the chief minister of Maharashtra, Mr. Uddhav Thakre, and few other candidates were declared to be elected unopposed to the state legislative council. Which union ministry has successfully patented the affordable PPE? What is PPE? It is personal protective equipment. So recently, MOD that is Defense Ministry in association with NRDC that is National Research Development Corporation has filed a patent for the low cost PPE which was developed by Indian Navy. Affordable rental housing complexes that is ARHC that are proposed in the economic stimulus package are to be constructed under which scheme? So, recently Prime Minister announced 20 lakh crores package under Atam Nirbhar Bharat Abhiyan and as a part of that announcement, the Finance Minister proposed that the Government of India will launch a scheme under Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana and the scheme intends to provide affordable rental housing complexes which will be constructed through PPP. What is the estimated growth rate of India in 2020 as per the UN World Economic Situation and Prospectus Report? So it is approximately 1.2%. So recently United Nations released this World Economic Situation and Prospectus Report. As per this report, the global GDP is estimated to shrink by 3.2% in 2020. Who represented India in the G20 Virtual Trade and Investment Ministers meeting through video conferencing? So we have already covered this question in our news segment. So Mr. Piyush Goel represented India in this G20 virtual meeting. Now for this year, Saudi Arabia is the president of G20. Next year, that means in 2020, Italy is going to host G20 summit while India is going to host G20 summit in 2022. What is the name of Padma Bhushan awardee and veteran National Professor of Bangladesh who passed away recently? So he was Professor Anisuzuman. So he was the well-known educationist and professor. He passed away recently. Apart from him, recently, veteran Bengali author Debesh Roy passed away. In addition to him, Actor Sai Gundewar passed away. Kampa Funds is associated to which union ministry? So Kampa stands for Compensatory Afforestation Fund Management and Planning Authority and it was set up under MOEF that is Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. Why it was set up? It was set up to promote afforestation activities as a way of compensating for the forest land diverted to non-forest purpose. Which global organization has approved 1 billion USD accelerating India's COVID-19 social protection response program? So this was recently approved by World Bank. It is important to note that World Bank had already approved 1 billion dollar. So in total World Bank committed 2 billion dollars for India as of now for this pandemic situation. So this COVID-19 Special Protection Response Program is related to World Bank. What is Event Boat? 
that was in use recently so it is a malware what is malware it is a software with malicious intentions so according to cert this malware attacks the android users and it steals their financial information so those android users who use mobile banking in their mobile phones might be vulnerable to this new malware smart enterprises resource planning is e governance platform launched by which union ministry so it was launched by mhrd that is ministry of human resource development and it is erp what is erp it is enterprise resource planning so this platform has been developed under national mission of education in information and communication technology scheme what is sachet which was recently commissioned by the indian coast guard so recently union defense minister mr rajnath singh digitally commissioned a ship icgs sachet and two interceptor boats c450 and c451 so this sachet is indian coast guard ship and recently it was digitally inaugurated by defense minister in goa which global organization signed a 145 million us dollars agreement with the government of india and the government of west bengal so recently aiib that is asian infrastructure investment bank signed this agreement with government of india and west bengal government and this project will be implemented to improve the irrigation services and to ensure the flood management in damodar valley command area in west bengal goal that is going online as leaders is an initiative of which union ministry so it is an initiative of mota that is ministry of tribal affairs and as a part of this initiative the ministry of tribal affairs has partnered with facebook to provide mentorship and training to the tribal youth through digitally enabled program and recently it was in news because tribal affairs minister mr arjun munda launched this scheme in certain new areas i n l c u l57 ship that was recently commissioned has been built by which ship builder so it has been built by grsc that is garden reach ship builders and engineers and recently it was in news because the commander in chief of andaman and nicobar command recently commissioned this inl cu l57 ship into the indian navy at port blair and it has been built by grsc kolkata as per the third advance estimates of production of major crops for 2019-20 what is the estimated total food grain production in our country so it is 295.67 million ton so recently the ministry of agriculture released the third advance estimates of production of major crops and as per this estimation it is 295.67 million ton which is higher than the previous year what is the term of dtis that is defense testing infrastructure scheme which was recently approved by defense ministry so recently defense minister mr rajnath singh approved the launch of dtis and the outlay for this particular scheme is 400 crores rupee and it would be implemented for a term of 5 years now what is the objective of the scheme this scheme aims to set up 6 to 8 new test facilities in partnership with private industry which institution published the corona studies series titled psychosocial impact of pandemic and lockdown and how to cope with so we have already covered this in yesterday's news and it was recently launched by union hrd minister mr ramesh nishank and it has been published by nbt that is national book trust so recently the e version was launched and the series was prepared by a study group and this group has recommended that strengthening of preventive medical health component of nmhp which state is set to implement the sensor based service delivery monitoring system for rural drinking water under jal jeevan mission so gujarat is set to 
implement the sensor-based service delivery monitoring system for rural drinking water under Jal Jeevan Mission. And it has already implemented a pilot project in two districts of the state. So with the help of technology, the quality and quantity of water will be monitored. Now Gujarat was also in news recently. Gujarat launched Atam Nirbhar Gujarat Sahai Yojana. So this scheme was launched to promote self-reliance in the state of Gujarat. Ghadiyals that were recently released in the Ghagra River in Uttar Pradesh belongs to which species family? So they belongs to crocodile family. It is important to note that the IUCN status of Ghadiyals is critically endangered. Debes Roy, who passed away recently, was associated to which field? So recently, a well-known Bengali author, Debes Roy, passed away and he was associated to literature. Apart from him, recently, renowned Marathi literaturer and theatre personality, Ratnakar Matkari, passed away. What is the outlay of agriculture infrastructure fund proposed in the economic stimulus package. So recently Prime Minister announced Atam Nirbhar Bharat initiative and as per that 20 lakh crore package was announced and within that package 1 lakh crore rupees has been announced for agriculture infrastructure fund and the objective of this fund is to provide support to the cold chain and post harvest management infrastructure. What is the name of scheme? proposed for the development of marine and inland fisheries in the stimulus package. So the name of scheme is Pradhan Mantri Matse Sampadda Yojana and the scheme will be launched for the development of marine and inland fisheries. Actually the scheme was proposed during the budget of 2020. Operation Greens which was in news recently is a scheme under which Union Ministry. So Operation Greens was launched in 2018 and it is a scheme under Ministry of Food Processing and Industries. And what is the objective of the scheme? This scheme was launched to enhance the value realization of TOP. What is TOP? It is Tomatoes, Onion, Potatoes. National Real Estate Development Council that is NARDCO which was in news recently is a body under which Union Ministry. So it is under MOHUA that is Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. So this National Real Estate Development Council was established in 1998 and it is a major association of real estate developers. Roberto Azevedo who was in news recently is the chief of which international organization? So recently the chief of WTO that is World Trade Organization announced that he will step down from the post of Director General of WTO on 31st of August. Now, it is important to note that his tenure as DG of WTO will not end in August. Families in Development, Copenhagen and Beijing plus 25 is the theme of which special day which was recently celebrated by United Nations. So, it was the theme of International Day of Families. And it was celebrated on 15th of May. This year, it celebrated with the theme of Families in Development, Copenhagen and Beijing plus 25. When is the International Day of Light celebrated every year by UNESCO? So, it is celebrated on 16th of May. UNESCO stands for United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. The headquarters of UNESCO is in France in Paris. In fact, the headquarters of OECD is also in France in Paris. Which GIF making and sharing website has been recently acquired by social media giant Facebook? Right answer is Jiffy. So recently Facebook acquired it for $400 million. Now Facebook was also in news because of its investment in Reliance Geo. So recently Facebook invested approximately 43,000 crores for 9.9% .9 stakes in Reliance Zio. Which day is observed by the Health Ministry on 16th of May? 
So on 16th of May, it is National Dengue Day. While 17th of May is World Hypertension Day. 17th of May is also celebrated as World Telecommunication and Information Society Day. On the other hand, 18th of May is celebrated as International Museum Day. The 36th Amendment of Indian Constitution made which territory as a full state of India? So, the 36th Amendment of Indian Constitution made Sikkim as a full state of India and Sikkim became the 22nd state of Indian Union on 16th of May in 1975. So, that is why 16th of May is celebrated as the Sikkim Statehood Day and Sikkim became the full-fledged state through 36th Amendment. In the NMIS online dashboard which was recently developed by NDMA that is National Disaster Management Authority, what does M stand for? So this new dashboard has been launched for migrants. So M stands for migrant and it is NMIS that is National Migrant Information System. So this was launched to capture the information about the movement of migrants so that to facilitate them in a better manner. In the economic stimulus package, what is the proposed limit of FDI in defense manufacturing under automatic route? So recently the limit was increased from 49% to 74% and this was announced during the recent economic stimulus package. Now, the finance minister, while announcing the economic package, also announced that the government will notify a list of weapons and platforms which will not be imported and will only be purchased from the domestic industries. In the recent economic stimulus package, it was announced that India is going to become a global MRO hub. Now, in this context, MRO is associated with which sector? So, MRO stands for maintenance, repair and overhaul. So MRO hub is associated with the aviation sector. That means the maintenance, repair and overhaul of aircrafts. The electricity distribution companies that is DISCOMs in which category of territories are proposed to be privatized as a part of this economic stimulus package. So the DISCOMs in union territories will be privatized Presently, Delhi is the only union territory which has private power DISCOMs. DISCOMs stands for power distribution companies. And in Delhi, Reliance and Tata are the private power distributing players. On which day the International Day of Living Together in Peace is celebrated by the United Nations? So it was celebrated on 16th of May. So it was celebrated on 16th of May and it was celebrated by United Nations. It is important to note that the year 2020 was declared as the International Year for a Culture of Peace. What is the additional allocation in Manrega scheme for 2021 as per the recent announcement by the Union Finance Minister? So recently, 40,000 crores were allocated to the Manrega scheme in the economic stimulus package announced by the government. Now why Manrega is so crucial because due to lockdown a lot of people lost their jobs and in order to boost the economy specifically in rural areas Manrega will provide employment opportunity to the people who are unskilled. What is the name of the scheme recently announced by the Indian government to promote digital education in our country? So the name of the scheme is Pradhan Mantri E Vidya Yojana and this is a comprehensive program that will include Diksha through which e-content will be provided to all school children. In addition to that, it also includes the Shiksha Vani podcast of CBSC. What is the name of initiative launched by Union Finance Minister to provide psychosocial support to the students, teachers and families? So the name of this initiative is Mano Darpan and it aims to provide support to the students, teachers and families in this time of pandemic. Now, in addition to this, recently top 100 universities in our country were allowed to start online courses 
keeping this pandemic situation in mind so that more and more people can study online. What is the minimum threshold to initiate insolvency proceedings under IBC that is insolvency and bankruptcy code as proposed in the economic package? So the threshold limit has been increased from 1 lakh to 1 crore rupees and this was done to benefit the MSME sector. Now this will provide a relief to the companies that default on loans due to this COVID-19 situation. What is the modified borrowing limit of the states as a percentage of gross state domestic product for the year 2020-2021? So recently, the borrowing limit of the states has been increased to 5% from the previous limit of 3%. Now, it is important to note that this additional borrowing limit beyond 3.5% is linked to specific reforms. What is the theme of World Telecommunication and Information Society Day that was celebrated on 17th of May? So the theme was Connecting 2030 ICT for Sustainable Development Goals. So every year on 17th of May, this World Telecommunication and Information Society Day is celebrated. Now the 17th of May also marks the anniversary of signing the first International Telegraph Convention and which led to the creation of ITU. What is ITU? It is International Telecommunication Union. Which country recently sworn in its new government which is led by the Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Benny Gantz. So recently Benjamin Netanyahu formed the government in Israel and Benny Gantz took oath as alternate Prime Minister. So the Prime Minister of Israel is Benjamin Netanyahu and alternate Prime Minister is Benny Gantz. Ashraf Ghani and Abdullah Abdullah who recently signed a power sharing agreement are the leaders of which country? So these two are the leaders of Afghanistan and recently they signed a power sharing agreement. Last year, presidential elections held in Afghanistan and after that election, Ashraf Ghani and Abdullah Abdullah both claimed victory. So now they have signed a power sharing agreement and as per that agreement, Ashraf Ghani will stay as the president while Abdullah Abdullah will be the head of NRHC. Which recently discovered microorganism has been named after Twitter. So recently a new fungus was named after Twitter and it is officially named as Troglomyces twitteri. Bundesliga, the first tournament to resume after COVID-19 pandemic is associated with which sports? So it is associated to football and it is the professional football league in Germany and it is the first tournament to resume after this COVID-19 lockdown. What is the name of super cyclone that has recently developed in the Bay of Bengal? So the name of the cyclone is Ampan and recently this super cyclone developed in Bay of Bengal. Now it is important to note that it is claimed that it is the only second super cyclone faced by India in several decades. Rajiv Gandhi Kisan Nyaya Yojana is an initiative of which state government? So it is an initiative of Chhattisgarh government and the state government will launch this scheme on 21st of May. Why 21st of May? Because it is the death anniversary of former Indian Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi. Now what is the purpose of the scheme? The objective of the scheme is to boost the rural economy and as per this scheme, the state will infuse 5100 crores through DBT. Who is the chairperson of committee of experts whose recommendations on defense reforms have been accepted and implemented? So recently, government implemented few important recommendations of committee of experts under the chairmanship of Lieutenant General D.B. Sikhatkar. And this committee had recommended to speed up the process of road construction on the border areas. Apart from that, it also recommended that the work, that means the road construction work that is beyond the capacity of BRO should be outsourced. Which country announced a 
2 billion USD fund to help developing countries for fighting COVID-19 at the recently held World Health Assembly. So recently the 73rd World Health Assembly held virtually. And from Indian side, our Health Minister Dr. Harshwadhan participated in this. And China committed $2 billion to fight against this COVID-19 during this World Health Assembly. What is the theme of World Hypertension Day that was observed on 17th of May? So, right answer is, measure your blood pressure, control it and live longer. This was the theme. Now, it is important to note that due to this COVID-19 pandemic, the celebrations of World Hypertension Day has been postponed to 17th of October 2020. Usually, it is observed on 17th of May. On which day the International Museum Day is celebrated? So, it is celebrated on 18th of May. And the theme for this year, International Museum Day was Museums for Equality, Diversity and Inclusion. And on this occasion, the Culture Ministry hosted a webinar on revitalizing the museums and cultural spaces. Answer in comment box, who is our present Culture Minister? Which Indian Nobel Laureate was present in the group of laureates which called for all governments to spend 1 trillion USD for marginalized children? So recently, approximately 88 Nobel Laureates across the world, including Kaila Satyarthi, united and called for the governments to spend 1 trillion USD for the marginalized children during this lockdown imposed due to COVID-19. Who was the head of ICC Cricket Committee which has recommended the ban of using the saliva to polish the bowl? So saliva is used to shine the bowl so that it swing better. Now saliva can be a major source of transmission of coronavirus. Therefore, the ICC Cricket Committee which is headed by Anil Kumble recommended the ban of saliva to shine the bowl. Now it is important to note that the use of sweat to shine was not prohibited. However, the committee prohibited the use of some external substance to sign the bowl. Kevin Mayer, who was recently seen in news, is set to become the chief executive officer of which popular platform. So the former executive of Walt Disney, Kevin Mayer, is set to become the chief executive officer of TikTok. Which country's cabinet has approved their new political map that included Lipu Lake, Kalapani and Limpiadura. So recently, there was a controversy regarding boundary between India and Nepal. Now, this controversy came into picture when Indian Defence Minister recently inaugurated a link road that passes through Lipu Lake. Which Indian state has launched the Charan Paduka campaign to assist migrant labourers? So we have already covered it in our news section. It was launched by Madhya Pradesh and it was started from the police station at Indore and it is being implemented with the help of civilians. Now what is the purpose of this campaign? The purpose is to assist the migrant laborers who are walking barefoot. 18th of May is observed to acknowledge the medical community who are working to find a safe vaccine for which disease. So, 18th of May is observed as AIDS Vaccine Day. AIDS stands for Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. How many cities of India were given the 5-star garbage-free tag under the garbage-free star rating for cities? So, it is an initiative of Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. And as per this initiative, 6 cities were given the 5-star garbage-free tag. Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania, which were recently in news, are the countries of which continent? So these are the countries of Europe and recently they were in news because of a travel bubble. What is travel bubble? It means the travel within a limited area or within a bubble is allowed. Now why this concept was in news? It was in news because recently these three countries allowed a travel bubble in this pandemic situation. The CBM extraction rights of Coal India 
was proposed to be auctioned. Now the question is, what does CBM stand for? So CBM stands for coal bed methane. And recently, as a part of stimulus package, it was announced that the auction of coal bed methane blocks from Coal India and auction of 50 coal blocks will be done immediately for commercial mining. So CBM is a form of natural gas extracted from coal beds. Who has been conferred the 2019 Alexander Dalrymple Award for his contribution to Indian hydrography? So India's chief hydrographer of Indian Naval Hydrographic Vice Admiral Vinay Badwar has been awarded this Alexander Dalrymple Award for his contribution to Indian hydrography. Smiling Buddha was the codename of which first of its kind of operation of India. So it is operation which is related to the first nuclear test in the Pokhran in Rajasthan which was conducted by India on 18th of May. And recently it was in news as India celebrated the 46th anniversary of this nuclear test. And so Indira Gandhi was the Prime Minister at that point of time. As per the notification of Jammu and Kashmir administration, what is the minimum duration of residence in the Union Territory to be eligible for domicile status? So recently, new rules were announced for Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir in the context of domicile status. And as per the new rules, all the people who have resided in the Union Territory for 15 years or who have studied for 7 years and had appeared in class 10th or class 12th examination are eligible. In addition to that, children of government official who have served in the Union Territory for 10 years are eligible. The Indian Railway's most powerful 12,000 horsepower electric locomotive has been manufactured by which company? So this has been manufactured by Alstom and it is a French company and recently it was in news as Indian Railways operationalized its first 12,000 horsepower electric locomotive. Now, where it was operationalized? It was operationalized between Deen Dayal Upadhyay Station to Sivpur in Uttar Pradesh. Who has been appointed as the President of Indian Steel Association? So recently, the former President of Indian Steel Association, T.V. Narendran, resigned from the post of President and he was associated to Tata Steel. Now, new president has been announced and he is Dilip Oman. So, he has been appointed as the president for next two years. Where is the headquarters of United Nations Relief and Work Agency for Palestine refugees in the Near East located? So, recently this UNWRA, that is United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine refugees was in news. It was in use because India gave $2 million to provide support to this agency for their work for Palestinian refugees. And the headquarters is located in Amman in Jordan. Thomas Tabani, who has recently resigned, was the Prime Minister of which country? So, he was the Prime Minister of Lesotho and he resigned recently because of a controversy in which he and his wife were suspected of involvement in a murder case. Tedros Adhanom is the head of which international organization? So, it is an easy question. He is the head of WHO, that is World Health Organization. Recently, he was in news because he announced that WHO is going to initiate an independent review of the handling of coronavirus pandemic by WHO. Vasco de Gama, the first European traveller to reach India via sea route in 1498 was associated to which country? So, he was associated to Portugal and recently this event was in news because Vasco de Gama arrived in India on 20th of May in 1498. Which global technology firm has launched an e-commerce venture called Shops? So, this has been announced by Facebook and with the help of this new platform, it is going to enable small businesses to set up their stores on Facebook and its entity 
Instagram for free. What is the name of mobile application launched by HRD Ministry which provides the facility of mock test for exams like JEE and NEET? So, due to lockdown, students were not able to attend the mock test for these examinations. Therefore, MHRD Minister Ramesh Nishank launched this National Test Abhyas so that student can take mock test on this application and this has been developed by NTA. Who has been appointed as the chairperson of NABARD? What is NABARD? It is National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development. So recently, Govind Rajulu Chintala has been appointed as the new chairperson of NABARD. The committee also cleared the appointment of Saji KV as the deputy managing director at NABARD for five years. What is the name of first Agri Futures Index of India to be launched by NCD EX? What is NCD EX? It is National Commodity and Derivatives Exchange Limited. So recently it was announced that NCD EX is going to launch India's first Agri Futures Index, and the name of this index is Agridex. The headquarter of NCD EX is in Mumbai. Mumbai is in Maharashtra. What is the theme of World B Day? So, we have already discussed this question in our yesterday's news section. Now, there is an important correction. Yesterday, I had mentioned that the theme for 2020 was Save the Bees, but that was wrong theme. That was for 2019. The correct theme for this year is Be Engaged. Now, there is one more correction. Few days ago, I had mentioned that this Sikhatkar committee was set up in 2018, but it was set up in 2016 by then Defence Minister, Mr. Manohar Parikar. So, please check these two corrections. The Ayushman Bharat scheme has recently crossed which milestone number in regards with beneficiaries. So, recently it completed 1 crore beneficiaries. It is important to note that this scheme was launched in 2018 in Rachi in Charkhan and recently this scheme was in use as it completed 1 crore beneficiaries. The scheme is implemented by NHA. Ratnakar Matkari who passed away recently was associated with which profession? So he was a well-known Marathi writer and he passed away recently. He was a versatile he was a versatile writer of Marathi literature. Who is set to take charge as the chairman of WHO executive board from 2020? So, Dr. Harshwardhan is going to take charge as a new chairman of WHO executive board. So, this executive board is a 34 members body and Dr. Harshwardhan is going to succeed the current chairman who is from Japan. Thank you and that's all for the day.